I'm gonna show you how to quickly do room layouts for floor plans in AutoCAD. And let's say this is gonna be storage room, so double click on it, type storage, press OK. Let's say my storage is gonna be bigger now, let's say 1000 square feet. So again, I'll, in my property palette, in the area section, I'll click this calculator and type 1000 multiply by 144 and then apply as you can see your storage room was increased automatically and we can play with the sizes or of the length and width by adjusting it and we always have a thousand square feet we can just regenerate and you can see it's a thousand square feet we regenerate again a thousand the only thing we are changing is the length or width of our room so let's start To start, let's draw a line by using the L shortcut and press enter. Click once, type 20 feet and press enter. Now move your mouse down and type 20 feet again and press enter. Now move your mouse to the left, 20 feet again and press enter. Finally, move up and 20 feet and press enter. Enter one more time to get out of the line command. As you can see, we have a rectangle. So the next step is to add a attribute definition. So let's type ATT and press enter. Make sure lock position is checked. And here, let's just say room. justification let's pick center let's uncheck a narrative and for the text style I'll pick Verdana the text height would be 18 inches so finally click OK and place it over here now select this attribute from the center point click hold shift on your keyboard and right click on your mouse to select meet to select meet between two points now click here once and over here as you can see your attribute is centered regarding to your square now let's press escape and then let's add a text using the M text command and press enter let's place it over here click and click over here now this is gonna be for the square footage so Let's type for now just x and square foot, enter to get down one line and here is going to be the dimension width by the height of this room and click here on your screen to get out of the mtex mode. Now let's select this text and type PR to open the property palette. So here selecting this text let's go down and change the justifi justify to justify to top center 
and also the text height to 12 inches and press enter now let's left click on it and move it around here anywhere finally let's close this property palette and let's use the block command and press enter uh, let's rename this block from design layout click ok and select objects click once twice and press enter click ok and finally let's specify the insertion base point which is gonna be over here so click and ok for now so we created a block so let's right click on it and pick block editor to start adding some dimensional constraints to this block so to do this let's type the auto constraint and press enter select all of your walls and press enter now let's start adding some dimensional constraints so click here on your ribbon and type horizontal click this point and this other point finally click on your screen and to keep things organized let's rename this room w for width and press enter again let's add a vertical constraint this time so click and click over here and finally on your screen let's rename this room L for length press enter now let's open the parameters manager here from your ribbon you can also click parameters and press enter so here let's add or create a new user parameter by clicking this icon and type area and press enter now remember this is a 20 feet by 20 feet room so on the expression the area would be 400 square feet however AutoCAD stays the area in inches so let's quickly grab a calculator 400 multiplied by 144 so this would be the area in square inches so let's type this over here and press enter now for the room L or length expression let's double click on it and this is going to be equal to the the area divided by the room width so press enter and let's quickly test this block so type B T shortcut and press enter now if we select our block and stretch this part we can see that it is also stretching downward so it can keep the square footage that was specified 400 so we're doing good so far so let's close the block editor and now what we're gonna do is add more dimensional constraints to keep this text center with our room so let's add a horizontal constraint let's click 
this line and now the attribute so click on it and click over here let's rename this room name h for horizontal and press enter now let's add the vertical one so let's select this line and then click and finally click over here so this would be the room name vertical and press enter now this is gonna be equal the horizontal if you click on it this is gonna be equal to the length of the room width so room W divided by 2 so press enter and now this room name vertical is gonna be equal to the room length so room L divided by 2 so press enter and let's go and test this really quick to see that everything is looking good so if we stretch this as you can see the room it's also moving or adjusting to keep center with the room so that's good now we need to do the same for our, for our square foot information so let's close the block test editor and let's apply the same procedure so horizontal constraint let's click this and then this text and finally click here so this would be square foot h for horizontal and again we know here this is gonna be equal to the room name width room w divided by 2 press enter now let's add the vertical constraint so click this and then the text click now let's add it over here click now this is the square foot vertical and this is gonna be equal to the room name vertical so r, r name v minus uh, 12 so it shows a little bit down of our room name so enter as you can see it moves a little bit down if you want it a little bit more up so let's say 8 and press enter and let's really and let's quickly test this block so if we select our block we stretch you can see that all of our text now it's adjusting to keep it center with the room so we're doing pretty good so far so let's close the the block editor so now let's add the automatic part which is the fields so to do this let's zoom here a little bit and let's double click to get inside our text and select this first one which is the width and right click on it and pick insert field now here let's see se let's select object and click this 
icon to select our first object which is gonna be this line over here so click and for this line what we need is the length so click on it choose architectural and click OK so we have our first field for our AutoCAD room name block now we do the same, pr the same procedure with H so select H now right click and insert field make sure object is selected and click this icon and now we're gonna select this other line so click on it again length architectural and click OK so we have our two so now we have our room dimension 20 feet by 20 feet in this case but it will adjust automatically so now we need to calculate the square foot for this room so again select this text right click on it insert field and we're gonna do a formula here so click formula and here right click on it and pick insert field again click this icon to select our object so select this one click length architectural ok and asterisk to multiply this right click on it insert field and again select the icon now select the length this line length architectural click ok and if we click here to evaluate this formula and we we're gonna see the preview over here so evaluate so 400 square feet that's correct I'll change the precision to this one and I'll change this additional format that's just a personal preference I'll change this for it for this shorter shortcut and click OK so as the preview let's click OK and let's erase this other text we don't need anymore enter to go a line down it's looking pretty good so I'll click so I'll click outside my text once to accept that now to make things easier for you select your text type PR to open the property palette and let's change the layer or color to a different one so you can see better so I'll change it to red for instance and I can close this property palette now so let's test this block BT and press enter and if we stretch our block you can see that it adjusts automatically so let's close this block editor and our block it's finally ready now you can type B close to close the block editor and press enter make sure click save changes and you're done time to test your new room layout dynamic block so if you want to change the room name simply double click on it and you can change let's say for instance this would be a gym let's click OK and let's say for instance we want we don't want 400 square feet but let's change that so, so type PR to open the property palette and if you select your 
smart dynamic block you can change the area to a different one by clicking the calculator and let's say you want for instance 500 square feet so 500 multiply by 144 is equal to this so let's apply that and you can see that your room just increased in size all you have to do is type regenerate and you can see that it is 500 square feet so if you change this you can see that still have 500 square feet but if we regenerate you can see that your length and width change if you have any questions regarding this smart dynamic block I'll help you in the comments also if you are a patreon member you can download this block from the video description I'll see you here next week